It is now 2025, and I can safely say that this will be an interesting year. I don't mean this because of global events, but rather because the number 2025 has some really interesting mathematical properties. For one, it is a square number, namely 45 squared. The last time a year was a square number was 1936, and the next will be 2116, so for the average viewer, this will be a once in a lifetime opportunity. But 45 can also be written as the sum of the numbers 1 through 9, which means that 2025 can be written as the sum of the numbers 1 through 9 squared. Another fun fact. 2025 can be written as the sum of the cubes between 1 and 9, namely 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed, and so on until 9 cubed. And as it turns out, this identity, where you add all of the numbers up to 9, then square it, and that equals the sum of the cubes up to 9, works for any number. It's known as Nicomachus's theorem, and in this video I'll provide two proofs, an algebraic proof and a geometric proof. First of all, we can generalize this formula into two sums. First, we'll look at the square of the sum of the first n numbers. We can expand it out to get the sum of the numbers up until n. If we add the same sum, but reverse the order of the terms, we'll see that each new term sums to n plus 1. Since there are n terms, the total is n times n plus 1. Then since we are summing twice, divide by 2. Thus, the sum of the first n numbers is n times n plus 1 over 2. If we plug this back into our original formula, we get that the left-hand side becomes n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4. Now we show that the sum of the first n cubes is equal to this formula, which we'll do by induction. First, let's consider our base case. If n equals 1, then the sum becomes 1 and the formula becomes 1 squared times 1 plus 1 squared over 4, which is 1. Thus, the base case works. Now we have to show that our inductive step works. We'll assume that a generic kth sum works. That is, that for a given k value, it equals k squared times k plus 1 squared over 4. We then show that the k plus 1 sum also has to work, that is, that the summation up to k plus 1 equals k plus 1 squared times k plus 2 squared over 4. We can rewrite the right-hand side as k plus 1 cubed plus the summation up to k. Since we are assuming that the summation up to k is true, we can replace it with k squared times k plus 1 squared over 4. We can then multiply k plus 1 cubed by 4 over 4 to get the same denominator for both terms, then expand outward. We can then combine like terms. I'll now do what every good math textbook does and leave the factoring of this to the audience, but you can easily show that the factorization of this polynomial is k plus 1 squared times k plus 2 squared all over 4. Thus the left and right sides of the equation are the same and our inductive hypothesis is true, thus completing the proof. While this algebraic proof does work, there is actually a really nice geometric idea behind the proof, so the rest of the video will be dedicated to that. Here we have 36 small cubes, grouped together into 3 big cubes, namely 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed. For Nicomachus's theorem to be true, we need to show that this equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 squared. First of all, let's rearrange these cubes. What I've formed here is a square. The side length of this square is 1 plus 2 plus 3. Thus, the total area is 1 plus 2 plus 3 squared. Now let's consider something a bit bigger. Here we have 2,025 small cubes grouped together into 9 big cubes, namely 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed, and so on until 9 cubed. And well, I'll let the animation play out. So I've again formed a square. The side length of this square is 1 plus 2 plus 3, and so on until 9. 
Thus, the total area is 1 plus 2 plus 3, and so on until 9 squared. Since it's the same number of cubes in both forms, we have the fact that 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus on and on until 9 cubed is the same as 1 plus 2 plus 3, and so on until 9 squared. Now proving this for every n in the geometric way is a bit difficult, which is part of the reason I've included an algebraic proof, but hopefully this animation showcases the basic idea. So there you go. 2025 is a really interesting number because it satisfies Nicomachus' theorem, and hopefully it'll be an interesting year as well. Hope you enjoyed the video!